everybody, it's Aiden here once again and welcome back to the channel as it's time to revive the Can F1 Handle series which basically means I take a modern Formula 1 car to tracks all over the world that either haven't been used in F1 before or were used in F1 before to see if modern F1 could visit these circuits. Today it's Laguna Seca, a track I haven't driven since the summer when I was part of the NHS fundraising event with WTF1 racing against people like Jimmy Broadbent, Emerson Fittipaldi, Beedley Munger, it was a really good star-studded event. So, F3 cars are all well and good around here, but what about Formula 1 cars? Well, that's what I'm here to find out. Okay then, so here we are at Laguna Seca in the Haas from this year, and yeah, let's go out and see if we can get round here in a round or under the magic minute which is what I managed to achieve in a 2005 car. Uh, I think it's all going to be down to setup, really. Which I'm not the best at, has to be said. Plus, I haven't really spent particularly long driving around here today. And it's my first time driving in a set of Corsa in my Sim Lab rig. So I've got six laps worth of fuel in the car. Great start. So, two or three laps to warm the tyres up, and then I can absolutely bomb it for a couple of time laps. And up here is the infamous corkscrew. Can't really do much corner cutting there. Team at Marduk dislikes this. Turn in. And here we go. Get a time lap on the board. I'm on charging mode. Oh, double up shift. No good start. Try and find that second apex. There it is. Flat through there. That wasn't possible in the 2005 Renault. Final corner. Very difficult to commentate and uh, drive around here. One two point five. Don't want to do that when I turn the wick up. On a 
Oh no! A huge lock up into the final corner. That's a one minute. Ah, no. <laughs> Overcooked it. Bugger. <sighs> Without that mistake at the end, that was on for a uh, a one minute or sub one minute. So, yeah, it's definitely doable. Um, well, without the lockup and the, the mistake in that second to last corner, definitely doable. Uh, I might try and do a few more runs like I did at Snetterton to try and bring the, the times down a bit. But... Uh, I don't think Laguna Seca is particularly suitable for modern Formula 1 cars as if I'm getting round in sub one minute, theoretically, then the real cars definitely are. They're definitely faster in real life around Imola than they are in Assetto Corsa. I think they're probably about three seconds a lap faster or something ridiculous like that, but I um, can't remember off the top of my head from what other hot lapists were doing. And I'm not a hot lapis, so there is that. Let's bring it back into the pits, and then I'll uh, do the onboards. Um, depends how much time I've got. I don't actually have that much time to, to do a uh, uh, another lap, or try and get sub one minute, because I have to go and pick up my missus from work. So, yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it one of these. If you thought it was shit, give it one of them. Uh, leave your time below in the comments if you have been around here faster than uh, one minute. I, I think a 58 is probably possible for the, the super duper fast guys but this was only a basic setup with you know, an average driver that's never driven around here uh, not really had much time to, to get going around here that is. So um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I've been Aina Mord and uh, yeah, like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Massive thanks to the patrons of the channel. I'll put them on the screen right now and I'll put the uh, Sort of the lap, the hottest lap that I managed to do uh, on uh, on the screen afterwards with uh, no commentary, just the uh, just the noise of the car and uh, and all that good stuff. So I've been rambling far too long. So until next time, see ya.